River Run. Katie Trail, Missouri. By David S. Pointer. Occupied zones inside steam motive boxcars didn't exist. But the chief engineer had seen an aluminum arm scissor out of an open crack, grabbing a woman passenger by her lab coat collar, as if it were a casket handle, pulling her back through smoke puff, while others started to reboard. All eye caps again were fastened to guard against submersible dream identification. wicked train curves through the hills, ominous death rattle reverberating, slithering across the distance, hauling the thick, sinuous coils and convoluted length of a snake, as I fidget with a case of nerves akin to an epileptic seizure of the blood, rattling the depth of me clattering as loud and furious as the train hurtles iron rails, jarring, assaulting the tracks. I await the serpent's hissing advent, the chilling rasp of scales pacing. I pick fingernails to rags, shredded and uneven slivers raining, a compulsion Yet, standing here in all of my neurotic apprehension, conviction, stealing my heart and spine, that it has to be done. I have to meet this train. When choice is removed, there is nothing but action and consequence. The train is close enough to feel its vibration. Anticipate the harsh shudder and scrape of brakes in a friction of sparks as it slides into the station, skating, undulating, haloed by steam, cloaked by a moody ophidian aura. No mystery aboard these cars, their purpose is clear, the outcome certain. Dense and shocking, rolling in waves that soak me with the cold sweat of terror. While the friction and release of pressure heralds its bleak arrival, the seats and windows bear impressions of decay, a putrescent stench. Passengers locked within the throes of fate's rigors. Gnarled by whither I have dreaded such a moment, known it was coming for me. Yet there is never sufficient time to prepare, to accept. Time is an inadequate measure, a shoddy substitute for existence. 
marking and keeping score, ticking, always ticking off each instant, squandered, whether in achievement or simple pleasure, frittered or fraught with regret, struggling to decipher the meaning and knowing makes it all the more intolerable, insufferable, inconsiderate. This train is the latest method. A civilized envoy, less gruesome. However imposing, reptilian, death is in the controls, blowing the whistle when your time is up, sending a hooded reaper to conduct you in a precise, efficient manner to peel you out of your reverie and ooze, stripping away the flesh to reveal a thin and sleek core, hollow yet durable. I have gripped this one-way ticket for several moons, A lifetime of last seconds of striving to cram in one more. Just one more glance, or breath, or chance. It could never be enough. And it would be so much easier to let go without the hope that it was a mistake, a clerical error, some big misunderstanding or that I could somehow change my destiny. I once loved trains and yearned to ride them off into the sunset on a grand adventure. That was before I beheld this beast rearing, parting jaws to engulf me, tongue darting, fangs like Quills, scrawling death sentences. You cannot shake your fist in its face. However outraged or indignant, snakes have little mercy or compassion. I brace for its bite, wincing. There is a line ahead of me. Too soon it will be my turn. Obedient yet complaining, writhing, kicking and screaming, just as I was born. Only this time, absorbed, swallowed, drawn into its belly rather than expelled. A fat intestine that stretches, rippling between past and future, constricting my present in a strangled hold. One at a time the doomed are snatched, and I am next. This is it. I am paralyzed, hypnotized, unable to resist the fatal strike of death's viper. Lonely, empty, evil earth crept its way, the rail its birth. Upon this endless midnight train, a moonless night in shadowed rain that fell upon the window pane, staring back the darkness black. Wisps of smoke 
clouds of white, cold and dark upon the night. Cold and broken, chilled and dead. Whispers spoken, filled with dread. My mind a chamber clothed in black. A spectre felt unseen within the silence. Behind my back, I swear, I heard a scream. Ahead, upon this spectral rail, begins my terrifying tale. From Illinois, I, on this train, some odd decoy, misled, disdain. Who but I, a passenger, now gone awry, some messenger of death, though I still have a breath. Within each car they sit and stare, some burned and charred, some simply there. A man in chains appears to host, his visage wanes, he is a ghost. With eyes of deep and bleeding red approaches me, removes his head, and bows as if I were his guest. Within my throat a scream suppressed. I closed my eyes. Oh, please move on. In a moment, he was gone. Beyond there calls a chasm where some thing crawls, phantasm. Clawing, bloody, soaked, gnawing cartilage, choked, then tilt its head to scream with some undead extreme, contrived, comprising evil, devised, despising devil. Within the path it swayed, as I then looked away, a sorcery at hand, I dared my legs to stand, in shadows shuffled, past murmurs muffled, of disembodied cries. Again, I close my eyes. I pled a desperate acclamation. This unfortunate abomination held captive on this hellish ride. Aversive, this unsanctified, revulsive space. Then turned to face the conductor who held his tongue within his hand, which he slung as a bell he wished to ring toward the window, motioning. The next stop, Alton, a signpost read. Oh yes, Alton, they know the dead. No stop was made upon this track. No stop was made, no turning back. Yet through the doors and seeped the walls, the specters came. They creeped, they crawled. One by one they came inside, some slithering, some seemed to glide. One by one they climbed aboard, some in silence, others roared. A knife protruding from the back of a man all dressed in black. His severed limbs he dragged behind, then gazed at me, intent maligned. Where in Hades had we gone, an eyeless child who sang a song? A lullaby, bizarre and wrong, escaped its throat, slit and bleeding, not from its mouth, sown receding, within its sunken head, which lay upon the bed. Suddenly, the car lost light, trapped in fear, Without sight, I grappled through the engine blind. Somewhere safe to sit, I'd find. A chug, a thug, a whistle blew. And in the dark, the deepest dark, my final breath I drew. Upon this stark, unearthly train, riding the rails misled disdain a stranger once without a name 
among the dead. I ride insane. Among the dead, we tread ahead upon this midnight train. From verity to vision, come join the pale riders, the mute shades of gypsies, evil eyes and ancient lips, wan tramps and blue vagabonds, all past, no future. Gullet white children with hungry fish eyes, slim grasping fingers, dark, moist smell of fresh earth. We shall not linger. The grim rattler waits. Pale rolling stock, sullen vistas to explore. Your little sleeper boasts pale sheets of deception, soft pillows of conceit, great illusions plump your pillow. Nestle down. I will warm you with a blue velvet door. Hesitate. You'll miss the final summons and go devil to catch my tail before the daybreak sounds and the flyer turns to dust. <laughs> <laughs> 